Hello and welcome to Top 10 WWE Superstars Who Never Reached Their Full Potential. Let's hit 500 likes and get right onto the list. Number 10, Ted DiBiase Jr. Being the son of the legendary Ted DiBiase Sr., Ted DiBiase Jr. was expected to go far in the WWE. He had a great start winning the tag titles in his first match, but once Legacy broke up, he really just got lost in the shuffle. Number 9, Chris Hero. Chris Hero, otherwise known as Cassius Ono, was very successful on the indie circuit and was expected to go very far in NXT before going to the main roster. Chris Hero sadly would often be on the losing side of things and was released from the company after only 21 months. Number 8, Sammy Callahan. Known as Solomon Crow in NXT, Sammy found much success on the indie circuit, but when he came into NXT with his new gimmick as a hacker, he was bound to go nowhere. It was a mid-card gimmick. He started off well but eventually went downhill and ended up asking for his release from the company after not too many appearances on TV. Number 7, Colt Cabana. Colt Cabana came into the WWE following success in Ring of Honor. The possibility of him teaming up or going against CM Punk excited fans, but instead he was given the name of Scotty Goldman and was turned into a jobber. That's all he really did in his WWE run before he was released. Number 6, DDP. The problem with Diamond Dallas Page is that he became a wrestler so late. DDP was near his mid 30s when he decided, hey, I'm going to become a wrestler. When he came into the WWE, he was turned into a joke. And though he was old, he never really reached his full potential. Number 5, Jake the Snake Roberts. Jake Roberts was destined to be the next WWF champion. The reason why Jake Roberts never did become the champion was because of his problems with alcohol. It's a very unfortunate story as Jake was going to be great, but at least he's in the Hall of Fame now because he really deserves that. Number 4, Marcus Corvon. A lot of you may have never heard of Marcus Corvon, but to me, Marcus Corvon had the potential to be the next Black World Heavyweight Champion. He was showing great potential on the ECW and was a very good promo. But then unfortunately, he had to leave abruptly due to family issues and you have to respect him for that because family always comes first no matter what. Number 3, Daniel Bryan. Though he has won many world titles, Daniel Bryan was retired way too early. We could have seen a lot more from him and it sucks that WWE didn't clear him. And with new superstars such as Styles and Nakamura around, we really have missed out on some great matches. Number 2, Scott Hall. Believe it or not, Scott Hall has never won a world title. Like Jake Roberts, Scott Hall did have his problems with alcohol and he only ever became as far as the Intercontinental Champion. And the alcohol is of course what led to his decline in the company. But like Jake Roberts again, it's good to see him in the Hall of Fame like he deserves. Number 1, Owen Hart. It is beyond me how in the hell Owen Hart never won a world title. It was a definite possibility and seemed almost certain that it was going to happen, but it never happened, of course, due to very unfortunate circumstances that we all know of. I'm not going to mention them because we all know. Thanks for watching, guys. If you did enjoy, smack the like button, follow me on Twitter, check my other channels, and of course, buy a t-shirt. Goodbye and keep on rolling.